Hello everyone, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Welcome to part two of my vintage plastic jewelry collection. I have been collecting jewelry for a very, very long time. These are mostly pieces that I get at yard sales and thrift stores. If I paid up for anything, I will let you know. And I guess that's about all the business we've got. Just let me know what your favorite pieces are. Like the video if you do like the video and please consider subscribing to my channel. All right, let's get started right now. I found this awesome bow I think last year in a thrift store and I was so excited to find it. It was like a dollar or something. It was just like in one of these really junky little thrift stores. And then I found the other one. So I have a pair of them. How cute is this? I just love this set. It's so nice. These are very, very light and it sort of has this iridescence. Yeah. These are great. I love this bubblegum pink color too. I love this vintage brooch. This is Moon Glow Thermoset and I think this is just a beautiful piece. I thought at first these were bats or something, but I guess it isn't. I guess that's just a floral kind of thing with the leaves. I really like this one a lot. I think it's just so pretty. And you know what I was thinking that I might have a part three too, because I don't think I'll be able to get to the rest of my plastic joy collection just in this video. So stay tuned for that. If it happens, how adorable is this little plastic brooch? Isn't that cute? I love this. I love the construction of it. And I love that it, it kind of moves a little bit. Can you see? Yeah. Well, some of them do, I guess some of them don't, some of them are just sort of threaded right in. I wonder if this was like a homemade thing because they kind of look like buttons. Um, I don't know. I really like this one though. I love the colors and I love the centers and everything. It needs to be cleaned up. It's a little bit dirty, but this one is uh, just so cute. In part one, we tested this bangle and this is in fact a uh, Bakelite and it is spinach. I think it's referred to as spinach Bakelite. And then I have this one too. So I didn't have this with my Bakelite jewelry, but I'm assuming it is. So let's just give this a very quick test for Bakelite. So you can run this under very, very hot water and it will smell like formaldehyde. You can also do that with your hand or with your clothing or whatever. You can rub it on something, get a lot of heat and friction going and then give it a smell. I like to use Simicrone polish. It's just, it's quick. It's easy. You can't do it in the field, I guess, but I don't usually pay a lot for things I buy, so it kind of doesn't matter to me because I'm paying like a dollar basically for most of the stuff I have here. So put a little bit of Simicrone polish on there. I buy it on Amazon. It's not very expensive. I think it might be single digits. I think it's $8 or so. I mean, maybe it's 11. I don't know. It's not a lot though. Doable, right? Just rub it. So if this, oops, <laughs> I keep hitting my camera. So if this is real uh, Bakelite, this will be like a yellow stain and it is a yellow stain. So, okay, that's good to know. So I'm gonna make sure that I keep my Bakelite separated out. I actually thought I had done so, but um, yeah, I guess not. Let's take a look at a few plastic rings that I actually wear. I don't think this one is vintage at all, but I do love wearing this. This is a real attention getter and it's so large <laughs> and bright. I love wearing this one. I think I got this one at a yard sale. This is one of my favorite rings too. Now I got this in a thrift store and the lady gave it to me for free because I was spending a bunch of money, like, I don't know, like maybe 60 or $70 or something. And then when I was getting ready to pay, I saw this in the case. I was like, oh, let me see that ring. And she goes, um, just take it for free. <laughs> it was like a free prize with my purchase, which was really a wonderful thing. People are kind, right? I really love this ring. I wear this all the time. I don't know how old this is. I'm just not sure about it. I don't think it's Bakelite, but we could just check it for fun, I guess. I don't even know what kind of flower this is. Is that a, a carnation, I guess? 
But let's uh, test it with Simicron. I've never done this before, but if it isn't real too, we can, you know, at least take a look at what that looks like when Bakelite isn't real or plastic isn't Bakelite, I should say, actually. So if this isn't Bakelite, uh, Bakelite this will show uh, pink and it won't change to that tobacco-y sitch. Yeah, it didn't change at all. No change in color. So this is just regular old plastic. Some people call it acrylic or what have you. I just call this plastic. Some of you may remember this crazy ring from a haul I did. I just think it's nuts. It's so big. It's like stupid big. And I love it. I love wearing it. I know it's super tacky, but I actually love it. I think I paid a dollar for this. I bought so many gigantic rings like this at this one yard sale. So somebody had my kind of taste and she also had large fingers like me. So I have worn this a couple of times. It is kind of heavy. I call it my bowling ball ring. <laughs> I don't know. I just love it. What do you think? It's kind of, um, yeah, it's just large is all. What do you think about this ring? That's pretty strange, <laughs> right? This is real denture stuff, I think. I got this on Etsy. I don't know the name of the seller. I can't remember. But if if you're interested, and I'm sure <laughs> nobody else is interested in something like this, but I did buy it on Etsy, so this wasn't super cheap. I don't know what it was, like $50 or $60. But it was so unusual. And believe it or not, I do wear this from time to time, and I always get comments on it. Yeah, go figure, right? It's so crazy. I think he also makes bangle bracelets and those are a bit much, <laughs> you know, but I do really like this ring. I think it's fun. What do you think? I have some of these really pretty reverse carved lucite pieces of jewelry here. Of course, we don't really know if this is lucite for sure. I call clear plastic jewelry lucite. That's just what I do. It is a misnomer, uh, most likely, in a lot of instances, because Lucite is a name brand of something that was made by DuPont. But that's what I call it, just sort of a, a nickname, I guess. And I also call celluloid, celluloid, <laughs> and Bakelite, Bakelite. And other than that, everything's just plastic. Well, I guess, unless it's a uh, Moonglow thermoset. But I love these. These were very, very popular in the 40s and 50s. This one is my favorite. I love this one. Is that an iris or something? I think so. It's so artistic and kind of interesting, I think. Some reverse painted roses. These are little earrings. You can really see the reverse painting there. So it's carved out, probably like machine carved or like gouged or <laughs> whatever, however they, they do it. So, uh, and then I have, oh no, where did that go? Oh no. <laughs> oh, does this match that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Cause that's white and that's black. Anyway, I think these are very lovely. Don't you like these? I bet you some people have these or have seen these before. Very pretty items. I love this brooch. Now this one isn't old. This is made by a modern day artisan. His name is G. Paul. I think he is Floridian. I think he might have a website too. My mother bought this one for me on my birthday a couple of years ago and I loved it so much she um, bought me a, a different one on my next birthday. I just love this brooch. Isn't it fun? This is a really pretty item too. I really like this. I'll show it to you on my neck. This one isn't very long, which I really like. And I actually like that it's plastic because the beads are so big. They are faceted, so it gives a look of glass, but it doesn't have all that weight to it. So this is a very comfy thing. I like that one a lot. That one's really cool. I like this necklace very much too. I got this one in a box lot that was at a thrift store where I know the lady pretty well. And she let me in the back room and I bought a whole box of stuff. And then I did a two-part mystery unboxing. I believe that's where this necklace is from. And I actually like it. This looks like it's from the 1970s, uh, maybe the 80s, but I don't know. Something about it reads a little bit more 70s to me. 
could be wrong, but I think that's a very interesting necklace. You could totally wear this today. I got this set probably about two or three years ago at a yard sale. So here's the earrings. These are all plastic here. Um, these are, are nice and big and statement-y, but the necklace is insane because it's humongous. Wait till you see this thing. I will guarantee you've never seen anything like it. This is so big, I don't even know how to show it to you. Here's like <laughs> the pendant part, and here's the the necklace thing. It's nuts. <laughs> this is this is not for a bashful person to wear because it's gigantic. Uh, let me put it on my neck. I mean, it doesn't fit on my neck, but we'll we'll try it anyway because that's really the only way I can show it to you. Here it is. Look, it's massive. It doesn't even fit on this thing. That's crazy. I want to just see how, how big this is. Let me see if we can do it. Let me zoom out a little bit. Let me see. <laughs> just this bottom part is like seven inches or six, I guess. Yeah, it's seven actually. Isn't that crazy? I think this is really weird. It's like, um, does anybody watch the British baking show? You know, that woman who wears the really crazy and bright glasses and jewelry, she could kind of pull this off, but I can pull it off too. I actually wear crazy things like this. I haven't worn this one yet though. <laughs> not yet. What do you think? Is it just too big? Hmm. Not sure, but it is really cool. This is a really pretty little necklace. I think this has the barrel clasp. This is a really pretty green. I like this. It's again, nice and light and it really catches the light too. This one's really, really pretty. Look at this pretty delicate little thing. Now this one is marked made in occupied Japan. I've never had jewelry. I don't think that I can remember that ever said occupied Japan on it. So I think that dates this. Oh boy. Um, like from the late 40s to the early 50s is that it like 47 to 52 or something i think so this one's really easy to date i think that's really pretty this is nice and light it's gorgeous right this is an old celluloid brooch i put this in one of my videos the one where i was showing how to clean jewelry and i was taking a brush because there was some dust on it there still is i didn't really do a great job <laughs> i guess but i really like this one it's so different, I think. It's nice and big, too. Nice big statement brooch. I don't think this one is old. This looks like just sort of a handmade resin, like a local artisan thing. And <laughs> I just thought it was weird. Look, she's holding those feathery things and her she has like square legs. Sort of this weird uh, op art geometric stuff on it. Here's another beautiful, delicate one. Oh, I don't know where I got this. I don't know if I paid $8. I'm, I might have. I might have. Oh, that's not broken, is it? Uh, no, I guess that's the way it was. This is a yard sale find. I think this is so pretty. So I would call this a Maltese cross, even though that is uh, another misnomer, an acceptable misnomer, I think, because Maltese crosses are supposed to have like a V's. Each of these is supposed to have kind of a V thing, but everybody else calls them a Maltese cross. So that's what I'll call it too. I don't know if this is tortoise shell. I don't think so. I think it's just like supposed to look like tortoise shell. No, it's not tortoise shell. Look at that. That's too bright <laughs> to be uh, from a, a, a tortoise. Anyway, I think this is a cool item. I think this was a yard sale fine. I know I didn't pay much for it. It is a little bit like crooked or something. It's almost like it had some weird heat damage. Yeah, see that? I don't know how, how to fix that or if you can. I think that's an interesting piece though. Look at this cool flower power pin. Now this is like, um, uh, what would you call this? Like a pleather kind of stuff vinyl or whatever. I really like this. I think it's very summery and very cool. I got this one recently. I don't remember where or why <laughs> I bought it. I think this might be a handmade thing, right? I don't know. It's so cheap and everything. 
but I thought it would look really good with the right outfit because it's it's just kind of weird. It has a nice height. It's nice and light. I love the colors. I really like this one too. This is sort of, I guess, an abstract sort of tropical flower. I like this one quite a bit. I think I just got this one. It's pretty, right? Very, very different. I like the different shades of blue. I found this at a yard sale and I said to myself, this looks like a very, very nicely made piece of jewelry and it's Avon. How about that? I did not know that, but I think it's really nice. I love the little sort of rhinestone accent. That's very unusual. They made this one to look like ivory, certainly, right? That looks sort of like a, a tusk or whatever. But this is just plastic. This has some nice age on it, I think. It's kind of pretty, right? Trunks up for good luck. Here's a pretty little dress clip. Isn't this nice? I really like the colors. This kind of swirly yellow and, and green together. Uh, is it marked? Made in Japan or something? Nope, I guess not. It's kind of scratched right there. I wonder what that's about. That's pretty. I really like the, the kind of cutout design there so you could see your your clothes underneath it or whatever. Shows the light, you know, lets the light in too. This is kind of an interesting 1970s or 60s ring. It's just really big and statementy, and um, that is not plastic. Actually, that's glass, so I put it in this uh, box accidentally. Kind of pretty though, right? I mean, in that 1960s, 1970s way, it's cool. Here's some great mod earrings. These are sort of weird looking. I like these a lot. And it's weird that they're sort of um, like uh, not smooth. You know, they're textured and, and irregular. How about these crazy things? Look at these. These are so much fun. Couldn't you just see these with some go-go boots and a mini skirt? These are awesome. And each of these rings kind of moves independently of the others. That's cool. This was a yard sale find. I think it was 25 cents. I just broke the bag open that they were in. Yeah, 25 cents. I went to this yard sale and she had tons and tons of flower power pins and she had sealed them all up in bags, which was really cool because they couldn't scratch or anything. And I've, I kept some of them in the bag. So I just opened up that for the first time. Now, this is kind of cool. I paid $3.99. This one is Savers, right? Yeah. I don't remember when I got this, probably six years ago or something or five years ago, but I really like it. I like the movement. It almost looks like little fleur de lis. Yeah, I guess it is. I kind of like the color too. It's very much like orange sherbet, you know, it's very soft, but then it has a sort of hotter orange underneath. That's kind of interesting. I like that one. Brace yourselves for the grooviest, most mod earrings you'll see in your life. You ready? Whoa, <laughs> look at these old things. How 60s are they? These are a kind of amazing. I do have the top part to this. I just have to um, put it on. Aren't those cool? I love these. Look at that weird splatter pattern. These are really cool. They are just groovadelic, man. Look at this weird vomit bracelet. <laughs> That's what I call this. It has this sort of uh, confetti lucite thing, but these are charms. Isn't this cool? I really like this one. They're flat. This one is actually comfortable to wear. I've actually worn this. Oh, stars. I like all the different colors. This one is just a whole bunch of fun, I think. Very different, right? Very, very, very different. Maybe a little bit too different for some, but not for me. I like it. Here's a very, very pretty green necklace. This is a very nice plastic barrel clasp here. So it's kind of like an invisible clasp almost because they made it look like the beads. 
I really like the kind of angles on this one. And this one's really cool. I also like the combination of green and black. And then these earrings. Now, when I first got this, I thought it was maybe from the 80s. I mean, it's either 80s or 40s. I don't think there's any other choices here. Not sure which. What do you think? Let me know if you have an opinion on it. I certainly do like it, though. I think it's very unusual and very cool. I love this necklace. I can't remember where I bought this, but for some reason, what I really like is that little piece right there. I just love this. I think this may be deco, and this is certainly celluloid. There's no doubt about that. I think this is very interesting, very old, and I really like the color too. Kind of interesting, this golden yellow with the marbleizing. And is there a clasp? No, there's no clasp on this one. So we can't find out who made it. Imagine this lived all those years, never broke. I really like this one. I think I may have gotten this from that jewelry store haul. I uh, don't remember. I know I didn't pay much for it in any event. Here's a weirdling. I really like this. A nice light plastic. I really like the orange with the kind of the gold metallic sort of stuff that they rubbed on and then took off so it just stayed in the recesses. I like this one. I don't think this one's too new either. What do you think? Do you like this one? I do. It's certainly a conversation piece. They almost look like shells or something. Very, very unusual. How pretty is this? I really like this. I think it's plastic. Why does it look metal all of a sudden? Hold on. Nope, it's plastic for sure. That's very different. And oh, this one's really pretty. This looks like one of those ones from the 1960s. And then I have bunches of these. Ooh, I like that one a lot, Japan. That one's really cool. I like that color. I like the whole design of this one. And let's see. Oh, these are so nice. Look at these earrings. Oh, no. Is there a rhinestone missing? There certainly is. I might be able to replace that. These are pretty. And these are lovely, too. I usually try to keep stuff like this in little bags because the stones do fall out over time the glue just dries up, you know, and that way at least I know where the stones are. I mean, I don't know where that other stone is, but <laughs> this is a nice dress clip. And these are all roses, I guess. Yeah, all of them. Hmm. A little pendant, pretty. Oh, this one's a ring. Isn't that nice? Oh, I like that one. That would look really pretty on with a tan. Oh, that matches that other thing. Wait. No, I guess not. Okay, those are different. They're both earrings, though. And these, and yeah, okay. Some really pretty pieces there. I love this pendant. It kind of looks like a Sarah Coventry. If anybody knows if it is or not, uh, tell me. It's not marked as such. But I really do like this a lot. I am going to put this one to the side. I'm going to start wearing this. I really like that pendant. Love the colors. These are old, and I think that they're very cool. Look at that. I don't know um, what kind of flower this is. Is that Are those lilies or something? Oh, I guess you wear them like this. That is very cool. It looks like food, right? It looks like something you could eat. It looks like candy. Very unusual design. And they look so different. It must have been hand done, I guess. Cool items. This pin is very different. I think that's a poppy, right? But I really like the metal on this one. It's very unusual. I think I just got this one recently, too, in a thrift store. Here's another reverse painted one. 
I don't know what that says. Zach, Zacho pain, Zalco, not sure. <laughs> I can't read that, but I think this is interesting. There's a lot of height to it. Metal. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> Why did they have the need to do that? No, they probably needed to do that in the factory, right? I like that. It's black and white. It's kind of cool. This is an awesome ring adjustable. I really like this a lot. Here's a pretty ring with some dried flowers inside. A vomit ring, I guess you could say. It is adjustable. I like this one. I've had this one for a long time. I think this was a yard sale find. It's pretty, right? I love these earrings and that is not glass. That is plastic. Western Germany. I like the height on these. And I also really like just they kind of uh, glow in the light a little bit. And I like the fact that they're gray. Here's a few very colorful pieces. And this one needs to be cleaned up. I don't know if that's dirt or glue, probably glue, but that's a very pretty little pin. And then these are earrings. These are really massive. I love the day glow orange from the sixties. And these are also super bright and neon-y. Is that a word? <laughs> neon-y. I really like these and oh, these are so pretty. Look at these, the little plastic petals. These are really pretty. Those never broke off huh? in all those years. And I do have two of these. Here's this. We're getting right down to the end here. I have a few things that may be Bakelite. So let's check out these cufflinks. This dress clip, because I don't have it with my Bakelite. And so I don't know if I ever tested these before, but they seem like they might be. These might not be because they feel kind of light to be Bakelite. But this is weird because it's like, I don't know. I don't know if somebody just strung them on. Well, if there's seam lines, it's not Bakelite. Do you see any seam lines? I don't. So let's just give these a real, real quick test. I'm going to speed it up so it's not boring. All right, let's see what we got. That is a no. Okay. Just wasn't sure. So when in doubt, check it out, right? This one is a no. I know that's just dirt. That's not yellow. So that is a no. Well, I'm, I'm particularly surprised about that. And this is a no. All right. And these cufflinks are also a no. Okay. So that's why they weren't in with my Bakelite. Just double checking. Just regular old plastic. I like these earrings in particular. I love when they put real plants in lucite like this. So these are shamrocks, I think, or clovers. They're just not the four leaf ones. And I think these represent spring and rebirth. And of course, they're lucky charms too. Lucky keepsakes, lucky symbols. Well, I don't know, maybe if the, maybe not if it's not a four leaf, I'm not sure. But I think this is interesting. I like that. I have two necklaces like this one that I got from the jewelry store haul. The other one is multicolored and I don't know where it is. I actually just had it in my hand and now I can't find it. So this is vegetable ivory. This in particular is from a tree in South America. It's called a tagua nut tree, or maybe it's just called a tagua tree, but this comes from the nut of that tree. So they cut the nut into slices and then they dye it, or maybe sometimes they just keep it as it's natural white or off white or whatever it is. But this is kind of an interesting item. It's very light and I just love it. I think it's very different. I think this bird is tortoise shell. I got this one not too long ago at a yard sale. I think last summer. And that's really pretty. And I think I have one more thing. So this is a pretty awesome, very, very old piece of celluloid. Really nice rhinestone right there. The pin part has uh, come away through the years. You can see the glue. Um, I don't know if 
I could glue a different thing on the, uh, maybe. It seems weird. It seems like there's not going to be enough points of contact to hold it on, but maybe I will try because I think this one is, is very, very darling. All right. So that is that. Thanks again, everybody. And I hope to see you soon. Take care of yourselves. I hope you have a great day. Cheers.